23-year-old Carol Robinson was driving a beater car down a desolate Oregon highway on a chilly December night. Fearing the frigid consequences of running out of gas, she decided to take her chances and pulled into a sketchy but well-placed petrol station. She handed the attendant, a rather awkward-looking boy, $20 and requested regular, unleaded gas. The boy, clearly anxious, asked her if she wouldn't mind stepping out of the car so that he could hear her better as he was deaf. Robinson declined and simply made a louder inquiry. The attendant then quickly blurted out that her money was counterfeit and insisted that she exit the car and follow him or she'd deeply regret it. Robinson adamantly explained that the money was legal currency and that she would not leave her car. She threatened to call the police, a threat they seemingly both knew she couldn't carry out, as there was no cell phone service so far off the grid. He continued to press the issue, and further stated that she wouldn't receive the gasoline unless she got out of the car. His last attempt to persuade Robinson to leave was, Please get out. The car's on fire. Fed up, and now thoroughly frightened, Robinson left the station without the gas or the cash. A 911 call was placed by a Liam Carmichael at 1.26 a.m. on December 17th, claiming that a woman had just left a gas station with a sinister-looking man wielding a knife in the back seat. The woman, later concluded to be Carol Robinson, was never seen from again. Though her car, which had run out of fuel, along with some of her belongings, were found on the side of Highway 26 near the service station. Police reports indicate signs of a struggle. I haven't been able to find any reports that suggest the assailant was found. 